when I moved here about 19 years ago to Cornwall, um, it, there, were, there were so many galleries and the art scene's really big here. Um, before that, I hadn't really considered it. Um, but yeah, I got to know a few artists. I visited the galleries and I, you know, I, I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do. And it was quite a quick journey from a local gallery. Then nationally, I found that people were discovering me rather than the other way around for, for once. And um, yeah, it was quite a, a quick progression. Well, I, I started painting um, basically at quite a stressful time in my life. Um, I acquired some, some canvas, just some old canvas from a car boot sale and stretched my own canvases on sort of just any bits of wood that were lying around. And I, it was a catharsis. I was trying to get out what I was feeling at the time, which was, which was um, sort of sadness and, and confusion and anxiety and um, I found myself painting sort of really dark seascapes. When life got a bit better I started doing more sort of bright landscapes and seascapes um, and then there's a tree that's just at the end of my lane and it, it sort of points to my house and I painted that and before I knew it the tree was in everything. Um, not that particular tree, I mean most of my trees now are most imaginary but um, yeah, that's what set it off. And people, people like the trees, so yeah, they were really popular. Um, to me, it's home. It, you know, that tree is home, um, and home is really important to me. Sometimes when I see them, you know, they're, they're always in the, the lanes near the coasts, and it, it's almost like they're, they're strong. They're, they're, they're there. They're, they're being blown by the wind constantly, but they're, they're still there. I've been told that some people are moved to tears when they see my landscapes. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm pleased that they are. Um, I think that's the main point of art is to to um, to make people feel some sort of emotion. I, people have said they're ephemeral, um, and I think that with my um, abstracts, particularly, that there's there's always something hidden. There's there's layers and layers and layers of a different story in the, the abstract and um, you know sometimes you just get a whisper of something that was quite prominent once upon a time but now it's gone or almost gone um, but you can still sort of get the essence of it so there's there's a, a long journey in an abstract and maybe people feel that. I love to spend time sort of on or near the water um, every day I have to do that <laughs> it's calling to me all the time and um, I think because I spend so much time there, it, it, I just naturally want to try and recreate that in my work. Um, sometimes I feel that when I'm in the sea, you know, I'm just almost sort of by osmosis, sort of sucking it all up, and then I just can't wait to get back in the studio after a surf or a swim or something, and and try and get that feel, those colours, that feeling of you know pure joy of of the sea. And also the coast, and that's where the, the rust came in. There's lots of um, old tin mining activity around here, obviously. And when I'm kayaking, I, you know, you can see on the cliffs where the, the old tin runoff has, has been patinaed, and you get these beautiful colours. Um, they blow you away. So um, my favourite mix, mixed media is um, gold leaf. I use tonnes of gold leaf. You can rust it um, with you know, four or five different coloured rusts from the, the cayennes to the, the darks, the sort of browns and blacks. Um, you can mix those up. Um, and you can use it on a finished painting as well. So, so not only is it underneath, it's also on top. For example, I use it in the leaves of the trees um, most times um, and on the coastline and perhaps just a bit in the flowers, just to give it a bit of a depth. Pastes, I use just paste to build up texture, and also crackle paste, which is fantastic. You, you lay it down on the canvas and then it cracks. So, you know, you can use that in different areas to create a really lovely effect as well. I use little bits of cardboard. Um, so if I'm doing a, a landscape and I want to put sort of a grass effect, I'll use cardboard, just dip it into the paint and, and dab it onto the paint. I started painting landscapes and seascapes um, and I did that for years. Those progressed to sort of 
semi-abstract um, and that's when I started experimenting with mixed media and from there um, I realised the joy of just pure abstract painting and uh, that's probably my favourite favourite genre now.